guys, how you doing? So I'm here making a banana face mask. It's a banana face mask. So I already have the banana to itself and in the skin. Okay, because it was getting bad and I didn't want to throw it out. So we're using the banana face, the bananas, right? We're going to use lemon. We're going to use a little bit of mayo. We're going to use one egg, both yellow and white. Thank you. Thank you for the gifts. I appreciate it. We're going to use... We're going to use the uh, almond oil right here. We're going to use a little bit of coffee. We're going to use the honey. Just a little bit. We're going to use a little bit of dark chocolate. We're going to use black dark chocolate we're gonna use flexi okay they're right here right there right there flexi i'm trying to it's kind of hard to show you guys but there we go okay and the dark black chocolate right here that you can see okay and then we're gonna do a little black sea oil you guys seen this before and we're gonna use coconut oil just a little bit and we're gonna use the my other coconut oil I have in the refrigerator we're gonna use a little bit of olive oil right there olive oil drop we're gonna use avocado oil we're gonna use a little bit of Vaseline just a little bit and we're gonna use this right here which is oaks kale and apples okay i'm gonna use that i'm gonna use a little bit of my senna just a little bit cornstarch just a little bit uh we're gonna use the egg we're gonna use a little bit of chickpeas like i did last time just a little bit everything is just a little bit just a tiny bit and we're gonna use a little bit of rice flour rice okay i'm gonna use some milk I'm gonna use, remember I told you guys about the original black sea oil? Okay, this is the original black. You see the seeds? You see the, the black? Okay, so we're gonna use this, a little bit of that. Okay, I'm gonna get started, okay? So I'm going to pause you guys. I'm gonna blend, I'm gonna blend the bananas. Okay, with a little milk. Oh, I forgot. These are the fruits. We're going to use kiwi right here. That's This is part of it. Kiwi. We're going to use a tomato. And we're going to use the grapes. Okay. With the banana. Peels and the banana. Okay. So I'll be right back. We're pausing you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm here going to put a little bit of milk. Okay, there's the bananas. You can see it's a banana, right? To let it help blend. Just a little bit. Alright, and I'm going to put the egg. Blend the egg in there. Okay. All right, and then we're going to put the kiwis in there, and the grapes. All right. It looks pretty, right, the colors? We are going to put lemon in it, too. Just a little bit. Okay, there you go. So, tomato. Okay, so I'm going to blend this and I'm going to come back. I'm going to pause you guys, okay? Alright, I'm going to pause. You. I just want you guys to see that I'm really putting this stuff in there, okay? That's what I want. Hi, how you doing? 
So, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm back. Because... Mayo. All right. Right there, okay? I should have opened this before I came in here. All right, so there we go. All right, so we're gonna blend this, and I'm probably gonna come back so you guys can see that I really blended it. All right, be right back. Pause. It's blending. There you go. Honey in it. Ba, ba, ba. There we go. Okay. Right, be right back. Okay, a, a little bit of the real black sea oil, the original one, right here, just a little bit. Don't waste it because it's hard to get. I'm already used to the taste. All right. Be right back, guys. Oh, I'm trying to pause. Okay, hi, guys. So, just a tiny bit of this. Mm. All right. All right. Pause. Be back. So I'm back, guys. So we're gonna add a little bit of this black sea oil. Okay. A little bit. There we go. We're gonna add the coconut oil. Just a little bit. Let's put it here because it kind of like it dripped a little bit. So I want to wash it. Okay, we're gonna open that up. It's not open yet. This one is the avocado oil. Avocado. Just a little bit. I'm going to wash these. Because it's almond oil, almond. Okay. And they were like kind of dripping, so I'm going to have to wash them. Okay. I'm going to reopen that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. There we go. Olive oil, that's the one that I was, it was not open yet. Just a little bit. And got to wash it because it went over. And Vaselina. Okay, just a little bit. There you go. And.
okay and it has black sea oil and coconut oil there we go all right so i'll be back guys we're gonna do all west uh polvo okay guys i'm back Magical, magical rose water. Magical. Just a little bit. There we go. And if you have roses, paddle, petals, do not throw them out way. Okay, just a little bit. Oh my God, it smells so good. It makes your skin silky. And you guys like, what is everything good for? Oh. Be right back. Pause, you guys. Be right back. Okay, guys. Green tea. There we go. You open it up. You open it up. And you pull it in here like that. Okay. The whole bag. There we go. Green tea. All right. A little bit of cafe, cafe, coffee, just a little bit, not too much. There we go. Okay. Un poquito de chocolate. Dark black chocolate right here. There we go. Okay. And you can consume this too if you want a, a tree and you want to eat something sweet. That's the way to go. Flex seeds, flexi, this flexi. You see it, flexi, right here. Just a little bit, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Mm. Okay, and I'll be back with the rest because I need a spoon for the rest. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So a little bit of cornstarch, right? Just a little bit. Now, some of the things I didn't major it because it's just a little bit of everything, okay? Alright, it's just a little bit. Okay, that's the cornstarch, a little bit of chicky polvo. Alright, just a little bit. Chickpea polvo is good for our dark spots. So if you have, you have spots on your face that gets rid of it okay uh the lemon is good for those people that want to be a little lighter if you too dark put a little bit of lemon and it's supposed to lighten you up a little bit not too much okay and since this has egg in it i want to put egg in it and then we're gonna blend this and it's done I didn't put like oat milk. I didn't put that because the this has oaks in it. This has oaks in it already. Oaks, like oat milk, it has it already. So I don't need to put it. Put uh the other kind that I usually put on it. Okay, guys. So we're gonna blend this. I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna blend it now. Everything that I put on it. So guys, I'll be right back, okay? Okay guys, so this was blended. All right. It smells good. It smells like banana. Okay. You see that? Okay, so this is going to go on your face. And you leave it in the refrigerator. And it usually, say if it's in the, in the refrigerator, it will last you for maybe two weeks. You apply it based on whatever situation you have. 
whatever you see that your face has you apply accordingly remember you put it over here make sure that you are not allergic and you leave it on for like 30 minutes an hour or whatever I suggest for beginners I will leave it for an hour because I already I'm already used to this so I will leave it for an hour okay all right uh, let's say your situation is really bad you will do this three times a week okay for 20 30 an hour depending how you see that you're not allergic to it okay also if you have a situation here so or your chest you can apply it all over your body this you know uh, because it has lemon I would suggest not to put it under your eyes so you will put it right here and you apply it like this upward upward you apply it upward okay up like this like that okay like this like that like that like that you get a q-tip you apply it like that not down up 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 all right and then when you take it off I take mine's off with ice you can take yours with warm water with warm not too hot not too cold warm because everybody's skin is different uh, I have a very strong skin like I and I'm not allergic to anything I'm not allergic to anything, so uh, it can take almost anything. So it's okay with me. I can handle it. But my skin is probably different than yours. You know, I'm not. I'm not as sensitive as most people could be. All right. So I'll be right back because I'm gonna put in a container. I'm gonna blend the rest of the tomato in here because I don't want to waste it. Okay. And the reason why I did this face mask is because the bananas were going bad and I didn't want to throw it out. So I decided, let me make a banana face mask. Okay? This is drying up. This is drying up. It dries up fast. So, the maicena, the maicena, the cornstarch, is good for like reddish. Like reddish, like burn. Like burn, like reddish, like, um, Usually kids get that. So when they're, especially when they're babies. I, Natani used to get, I used to put like uh, Mycena, the cornstarch, that type for the babies. You put it on there and it gets, and it takes away whatever rhenish they have. So that's what that is for. It cools you off. That's what it is. It's to cool you off. You know, sometimes people, when they're like overheated, they get like, uh, like, I don't know how to explain, but they get like bumps and whatever, and that cools you off. Some reason it, it works. It's really good. That's a Colombian recipe that I learned about uh, cornstarch, maicena. Okay? I'll be right back. So I'm back, guys. So this is what I want to put it at. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to Ale Love Seven's channel. Tell your friends, and your friends will tell their friends, and so on. Okay.
And I already put this on me, on my hand, and it made my hand, in the back of my hand, very soft. And like glowing. Okay, so if you like, you can try it. If you want to, it's up to you. But there you go, one of my secrets. And you're supposed to apply it to your hands. You're supposed to apply it to your whole body, depending on what your body needs. You know, some people's hands, they get wrinkled and saggy, and this is supposed to help you with all of that. The delay, remember I talked about the delay? All these oils are very good. All these oils, vegetables and fruits, and the honey and all these good things like the, the this is good for uh, when people get stretch marks you know when they have babies sometimes some people get stretch marks this gets rid of that Vaseline Vaseline and uh, coconut butter gets rid of a uh, stretch marks so if you have type of marks on your face the almond and all this good stuff you make it into a face mask and it gets rid of whatever issue you have in your face or even here. You know, just got to be careful and gentle consistency. But two or three times a week, not every single day, you know. And then there's the massages with, the, uh, with certain oils to help massage your face. You don't go massage your face by itself. Anyway, but I'm going to go and this is it. And I'm going to put the rest in here and it's going to go in the refrigerator. And I will be applying this to myself. And you guys will keep seeing me. You guys see my face shiny? You guys see my face shiny in the videos? No makeup? That's because I have black sea oil and coconut oil on my face. I even have it sometimes on my hair, my scalp. Because it's good. It helps your hair grow. So that's why. If you guys see it. I'm like, why is her face so shiny and stuff? It's because I have that absorbent to my skin and to my face. Okay, I also consume it. I consume a little teaspoon in the morning and a little teaspoon before I go to bed. Especially the original one. It really helped me. Look, my arm is all the way up now. It touches the other thing, the other. Remember I didn't used to do that? Remember, it was just like this. First it was here, and it went up little by little, and I finally got it over here. It wasn't hurting, but it will not go up. Look, look, the black sea oil did it. I didn't go to the doctors, no medication. This did it. This did it. It works. Go for it, guys. Try it out. If you're not allergic to it. Got it? Okay. Remember, we all different, so I'm not suggesting, I'm not telling you go ahead, do it. I'm just saying, if you can, you can try, you can inform yourself. You can, before I did all of this stuff, I tried each individual item by itself, and then I looked, I, before trying it and everything, I looked it up. Before trying it, I tried the tomato by itself, but I looked it up before I tried to see what is it good for, you know, what, what are the benefits out of it. So I looked this stuff up before I even went go ahead and did it because I didn't want as there is a fruit, a fruit or a vegetable. I know what it is, but I can't say. Uh, I will say when I get my thousand subscribers, I will tell you which fruit or which vegetable you are not allowed to. You should not put on a face mask or plaster it to your face. You can eat it, but you can't plaster it to your face because it's not good. So you got to be careful. So, guys, don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends and your friends tell their friends, okay? Bye. Have a good day. Ciao. Adios.